U.S. Air Force and tech firm Apirus have developed a mobile high-energy microwave weapon. High-energy microwave weapon. High-energy microwave weapon to bring down drones. Apirus is also working on a miniature variant of the weapon that can be easily transported on a pickup truck. This is the type of technology that might be targeting American diplomats. The company that we are putting the spotlight on today is Apirus. They are a defense technology startup named after the bow of the Greek hero Theseus. And they are creating high-powered microwave technology combined with AI to combat against unmanned aerial systems. Let's go take a peek at the future of defense. Our world has changed and continues to change at a rapid pace. The advancement of technology and a shift in global values has created the perfect scenario for the emergence of the asymmetric threat. Threats from unmanned aerial systems, aka drones or drone swarms, are proliferating across the globe. Any person can go online, spend a couple hundred bucks to buy a commercial drone, retrofit it with a bomb or some type of weapon and fly it anywhere. In order to combat against these threats, modern defense systems are becoming more creative and agile. This is where Epirus comes in. Epirus is building a cutting edge, software enabled, high powered microwave solution combined with AI to combat against these unmanned aerial systems or drone threats. Leonidas, their flagship product, is a counter UAS solution, leveraging the technologies we mentioned before, high power microwave technology along with AI. It sounds like basically they can shoot drones out of the sky or create a force field effect. These products are straight out of the future. They look like science fiction. They're essentially shooting beams of energy at drones. There's wide application for these tools, not only in the defense sector, but also in the commercial sector as well. They can deploy these systems to protect stadiums, to protect airports, critical infrastructure. It's a little bit... We have to get more information and we got to tell the public what's going on.